Good morning, my Tigers, and welcome to Announcements for Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. I'm Javier, your senior class president, and I'm joined by fellow seniors. Hi, I'm Asia, your student body president. I'm Bailey, your student body secretary. I'm Libby, your senior class secretary. And I'm Trish, your senior class treasurer. Please rise and remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you and have a great day, Tigers. Thank you to everyone that dressed up for Frat Friday. Join us for the TJFs. Thank goodness it's fourth quarter Fridays. Every Friday is a spirit day. This Friday, April 15th, Family Friday. Dress in your pet soccer mom or baseball dad outfit. Top Tiger stickers are now available. See Miss Billy in the front office to get yours before school, after school, and or during lunch. Congratulations, Top Tiger. My name is Chicky, 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 Chicky. My name is Cha Cha. Clap, clap, Cha Cha Cha. Chicky, Chicky, Chicky. Clap, clap, Cha Cha Cha. Chicky, Chicky, Chicky. Clap, clap, Cha Cha Cha. My name is Boom Boom, Boom Boom Boom. My name is Chicky. My name is Cha Cha. Chicky Cha Cha. Boom Boom. FCCLA, Emma Housewright, Lily Blinkton, Azaria Ramirez, Davina Kerr, and Grace Burrell all received gold medals. They will be traveling to San Diego this summer for FCCLA National Conference. Calling all artists. Area is collecting art to display in our Day of Silence exhibit. We invite all students to contribute art that represents identity, equality, inclusivity, LGBTQ plus themes, and or the struggle to find your voice and be heard. Bring your art to J8 by Tuesday, April 19th. Artists can remain anonymous and art will be returned upon request. If your charger stops working, you can bring in the charger to the Chromebook help desk and the charger can be replaced with a new one for free. If you lose, misplace, or even lend your charger to a friend and lose it, you will have to purchase one in the bookstore for $15. Do you have a favorite teacher or a teacher that goes above and beyond or a teacher you think deserves some love? Fill out a teacher tiger ticket for them by scanning the QR code or going to the link to show your teacher some love. Juniors and seniors, Fairy Tale Force prom tickets are now on sale in the bookstore. $35 for a single and $60 for a couple. Join us at La Mariposa on April 23rd from 7 to 11 for a night trip number. Guest passes are available in the bookstore as well. Prices will not go up until April 18th. Get yours today. Thank you to all of those that came out to donate blood. Our blood drive was fantastic. We had 54 people sign up and in the end, 39 people were able to donate. Per donation, three lives could have been saved, which means that our blood drive has the capacity to save 117 lives. Way to go, Tigers. Attention Miranda Tigers, AP exams begin on May 2nd, 2022. See the calendar for scheduled dates and times. Uh, for more details, please check in with your AP teachers or Ms. DeShazo in the counseling office. Biology Club. Please come see us in room B17 for Marine Biology Club. Learn all about amazing sea life. See what you can do to help our oceans. We meet every other Thursday with Mr. Pipes. Next meeting is Thursday, April 14th during II. Interact Club. We are a community service-based organization and we are always looking for new members. Our next meeting will be this Thursday, April 14th during II. All grade levels are welcome. Your volunteer hours can even be used as outside hours for other clubs. Come be a part of a club that makes a difference. Stop by Mr. C. Gloss class to pick up an II pass. Attention Key Club, please join us for our last Key Club meeting in the school year on April 21st, Thursday, 2022 during II in the North Pod. Don't forget your volunteer hours are due Wednesday, April 27th, and the end of the year event is Friday, April 29th at 5 p.m. 
Check out the Google Classroom for more information. Juniors, please fill out the Google form in your Gmails to let us know your ideas about your senior shirt, senior song, and senior quote for next year. You let us know your suggestions, and now it's time to vote. Attention juniors and seniors, prom nominations will be held today and tomorrow at lunch. Vote for the table in the cafeteria. You can nominate your favorite couple for king and queen, and voting will be held at prom. Hey Tigers, this is Miss Brown. I'm one of the speech language therapists who works here on campus. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about some really cool tools that already exist on your Chromebooks that you could use if you're ever working on an assignment that's very reading or writing heavy. So before we can demonstrate the tools, we have to make sure that they are enabled on your Chromebooks. So let's go down to our settings. Once you have opened up your menu, you can go to the settings gear here. And then on the left-hand side, you'll be able to look for the advanced button. You'll click that and then scroll all the way down to accessibility. Once you click accessibility, you can toggle this to make sure that it'll always show up on that systems menu we first saw. And then we'll manage our accessibility features. So you're gonna wanna enable select to speak and then scroll down and also enable dictation, speaking to typing. Once we've got those two enabled, we can go ahead and exit out of our settings altogether. Now we get to try them out. So for dictation, I'm going to place my cursor where I want text to appear. And I have two buttons now down at the bottom of my Chromebook, which are for the microphone for dictation and the speaker for select to speak. I can click the mic and now comma Chromebook is hopefully listening to me and typing for me, period. I'll click that again to make sure it's not listening to me anymore. The other way that I prefer to use dictation is via the shortcuts. So if I have my cursor where I want it and I want my text to appear, I can click search plus D. And now once again, it should be typing for me, period. And I'll click those same keys to turn off the feature. This is really useful if you're just trying to get your ideas out onto the page or you're answering maybe like one sentence answers and you just wanna say them, it works. The other feature that I want to talk about is called select to speak. For this one, I encourage using the menu down at the bottom over the shortcut. The shortcut can be a little bit glitchy. So if I click the select to speak icon, I can now have a box and anything that I put into the box as I drag and drop it is going to be read out loud. Once you've written something out, it can be helpful to listen to someone else read it to catch any possible errors in grammar or flow. Your select to speak tool on your Chromebook can read it for you. You can listen for any errors. This is also really helpful if you process information better, if you can listen to something as you read it. Yeah, and you'll notice that I sped mine up. Um, I'm not super patient, so I like to listen to it a little bit faster, but these are both great points. So it's a great editing strategy. Let's say you've written a paragraph or a couple paragraphs and you've looked at them so much that you can't really see mistakes if they're there. Your brain is just too used to it. It's great to hear someone else or a Chromebook read it to you so that you can listen for those mistakes or those gaps in flow. Um, and this works on web pages, it works on Google Slides, it works anywhere that you can select text into that box, including PDFs. So shout out to Mr. Grandy for this catcher in the rye PDF. If you want this to be read to you, you just click that icon, drag your box, and then it'll start reading. Catcher.pdf. One, if you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is. You guys get the idea. And this will do this with web pages too. The highlight will follow where it's reading, which is really nice if you're just following along. Um, oh, and same thing with dictation. This will work anywhere that you can put a cursor to type anything. So Google Slides, Jamboards, just your browser, dictation will work anywhere. The very last um, tool that I wanna draw your attention to is the high contrast mode. I'm sure a lot of you already know about this one, but in case anyone doesn't and they would benefit, this is great if you can have an easier time reading when the background is dark, but the text is light, you can actually swap that. So your Chromebook does that. So you hit control search and H, and now you've got it swapped into a high contrast mode that may be easier for you to read, especially if you're working outside and like the glare makes it really hard to read on a white screen, this could be a great option. You just hit those same exact keys to turn it off. Anyway, those are our three tips for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that you find them useful and maybe give them a try and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Thank you for joining us for today's announcements. Thank you for joining us for today's announcements. Hashtag MHS Tigers Roar. Hashtag MHS Tigers Roar. Hi, I'm Asia, your student body president. 
Hashtag MHS Tigers Roar.